What's up everybody, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com uh, In today's video we're going to be doing a carb clean slash rebuild on this O2 Honda Shadow, the VT750. Uh, this video should cover the 98 through 2007 models as well. The Ace, the Arrow, you know, all the Shadows, all the VT750s. Um, I kind of looked through the parts diagram. If you do a wear used on one of the components, all the carbs look the same. Also, some of these components I noticed are used on the VT1100. So this video should help you out whether you have a 750 or an 1100. This model, again, is an O2 750, and we're going to be going through the carbs step by step. So let's talk about why you'd want to uh, clean or rebuild your carbs. Well, this bike did not start at all. Even with the choke on, it would only run with starting fluid applied. And basically, what I found is that the pilot jets were completely plugged up, and the uh, choke tubes, the feed tubes that supplies fuel for choke, where it was completely plugged up as well. So it was getting absolutely zero fuel, and that's why I was only running on the starting fluid. Now, before we get started, um, if you go in the video description, there'll be a link to my blog post on my website, which has the free service manual. So you definitely want to grab that for whichever year you're working on. You want to, because um, when you take the carbs apart, you're going to want to verify all the jetting and all the settings, the float level, and all that good stuff. It's going to probably vary between the models. I have one specifically for the O2, and I think I was able to grab a few for other years. So, again, go to the video description, and in there you'll you know you can hop on my site and get a free service manual. So, if you own this bike, you should have a service manual. All right, so this video is going to cover it step by step. Other than that, something I didn't cover in the video is you definitely want to flush your fuel. So, definitely dump all the fuel out of the tank, put fresh stuff in. And I actually even purged the system uh, by bypassing the fuel pump relay and just purging the lines of all the stale fuel. And, you know, I didn't want to do the carb clean and then pump it full of old gas. So definitely want to make sure you have fresh fuel uh, when you're all said and done. All right, I'm done talking. Let's get started. Um, I might skip a, skip a few steps, like taking the seat off and stuff like that. I think... Uh, you know, everyone can kind of figure that out. I just kind of handle all the uh, the hard stuff. So let's get right to it. All right, go ahead and make sure your petcock is in the off position, which is pointing left. And we can go ahead and disconnect the fuel line. Have a rag handy, because some will probably spill out. Next, take a 12 mil and loosen the tank bolt. So there's a bolt in the washer. Move these two Allen bolts. There's two in the front here, on the speedo cluster.
there's a connector under here, just go ahead and remove it. Go ahead and remove the tank and there's probably another vent line over there. one on the right side. Under here, just go ahead and pull that off. Alright, there's a screw in here that holds the air box onto the carb. Just go ahead and loosen that. Now we're on the left side and we're going to loosen the screw here clamps on the carb. And pop that off. Hopefully we can feed it to the other side. This clamp just came off. There's a tube on the back of this air box. Just go ahead and pop that off. Let's go ahead and remove these two screws here. And remove the throttle cables. One's a push, one's a pull. While we're here, we can loosen the carb clamp, which is actually loose. It's not good. All right, let's jump to the other side. Take note of the two hoses circled in yellow and red. The yellow is the PCV hose. It's a positive crankcase valve hose and that attaches directly to the air box. The vent hose goes to the front to some kind of EPA charcoal canister. Go ahead and remove the vent hose. All right, same thing on this side. Find that top carb clamp and loosen it. Remove this hose. 